All right, uh, we should be live now. So, uh, Angry Ed and Ten Games, good to see you in the stream chat as well as the as the two anonymous guests. Go on, register already. Uh, we will be performing the standard sound check. I have Pinchy with me today, so uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all staring at the speakers. <laughs> yeah, it's roughly four or five seconds normally, depending on where you are. I have noticed that there, there is actually a pretty gigantic difference but depending on where in the world you are. I think that you stream actually... I mean, I know that what I am broadcasting from here gets sent across the Atlantic to the US to the central server and then sent to the uh, different servers across the world but then again I think they have one European service and then all the other servers on the United States so uh, the l yeah I feel like I can almost reach out and touch you <laughs> yeah Let's uh, shake hands through the internet instead. That's much much more hygienic. <laughs> oh well. Uh, well, uh, we. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. C yeah. I mean, they they heard me, and I mean, they know that I'm insane by now. I mean. You have to be if you stream games like this every Saturday, but I don't think the chat believes I'm insane enough to sit around keeping a conversation with myself. That I have been editing that video, and it, it's like reliving some of your nastiest war memories, really. I mean, every time a scene comes up and I go, oh god, oh god, no, 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 oh, it happened again. Yes. <laughs> I do it in ten minute bursts in order to ensure that my brain <laughs> remains intact. Oh dear lord. Yeah, the problem is I only drink Lafroig, which means that uh, it gets expensive very quickly. Get it, getting drunk on expensive Scottish whiskey is, uh, is not within my budget at current. Yeah. Yeah, actually, the pay for review in video games is shit. Don't let anyone tell you anything else. My god. Uh, well, more or less. During the initial testing period, you actually are. Yeah. They give you video games, you give them your time, and, uh, well, whatever pathetic excuse for writing you manage to push out. But enough, uh, enough about good video games. Let's play some bad video games. It's time for... <laughs> well, we will be seeing some decent games, actually, today. Hilariously enough, it will be a very balanced uh, stream today because uh, we have some good games like... Uh, for example, hang on. Again. Let's see if I can actually remember which button accelerates this time. Yeah, the hilarious thing is that though the master system only has two buttons, I am always surprised at how amazingly well obtuse the games can get with actually with what button you're supposed to use. I mean, for example, the very first game I played, Ace of Ace of Aces, where you had to hold down one button, then use the D-pad to make a selection of what screen to move to, and then hold in the 
other button and use the D-pad again to choose which part of that screen you're supposed to go to. I mean... <laughs> well, it did awfully well in Brazil. Oh. Ah, they don't even have the internet yet, am I right? Uh... Yeah, basically my uh, motorcycle is made out of nitroglycerin. Yeah, I made it about two thirds of the way in the time they allot you. Uh, let's give it. Let's give it one more try, shall we? I actually haven't finished the very first Hang On race so far, and I've played this game what three times live now. Yeah. I used to play a uh, motorcycle GP game on the... Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Anyway, on the Amiga back in the day, and it had some of the most... Well, ridiculous punishments for mistakes ever. If you basically just happen to turn a slight bit too much, it would fling you off the track and into the terrain and... It would take something like 30 seconds as punishment time while they fixed up your bike. And in a game where the AI is basically driving perfectly on every corner, those 30 seconds were pretty much, well, half the game. Yeah, you have to take what you can get, I suppose. That is a bit more doubtful, yeah. They tend to be a bit, bit more ripped apart than blown up. In any case, the second try didn't go terribly well either, so uh, let's give it one third and final try. And yeah, this is pretty much how Hang On was in the arcade as well, and it should be noted that the Sega Master System is pretty much a direct arcade port, so it is meant to be every bit as difficult as you used to pay for. So. Uh, yeah. That's actually a good question. What the hell did we use back in 1985? Well, we used crowns and ur, which is basically the same thing as I said. It's a hundred of a hundred of a crown. So let's see. 1985. We were doing pretty well economically. So I would. S Suspect something like a uh, crown per game, maybe something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we Swedes are good at that. We've inve we've invented a lot of those. <laughs> like so. That was that was that is actually a French invention. But we did <laughs> we did invent the centigrade though. <laughs> Yeah, that's that caught on, didn't it? Problem, Imperials? Uh, let's let's see us all agree that both Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit and Centigrade would be dying soon enough and give way for Kelvin anyway. The one true system. That is actually one of the most hilarious arguments I've heard against the centigrade system. That people cl complain that it moves into the negatives too soon. I mean, what? Do, do, do you feel it? it does, it, does it feel more cold because it's a negative number? I mean... Yeah, it's basically because there's not much to say about Hang On, because it's Hang On. Yeah, well at least I managed to make it past the f very first track, so I I'll call that a victory. Alright, let's move on to a game that we haven't played, hopefully.